Do you ever forget sometimes that you've completely edited a video and, uh, like, a week or something passes and you realize this and and then have to do a voiceover? Uh, cause that's, that's kind of what happened here. Um, I've been playing with canvas pieces lately. I'm really into putting colors on there and um, swishing them all around with water. Uh, I also decided that using watercolors is a whole lot cheaper than using all my inks. Um, like, so much cheaper. <laughs> so, got out these here watercolors and um, sprayed some alcohol on the water and watched it turn into patterns and uh, then splotched some blue here. So again, uh, Inktober has kind of been keeping me busy, <clears throat> um, with ideas at least. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time coming up with my own ideas, I guess, lately for for drawing things and I don't know, I'm, I'm just not really feeling motivated and, and that happens, I guess. Uh, it's not uncommon to have a dry spell, um, but Inktober gives you a weekly now uh, prompt and I've been using those to to get my mind going and sometimes it's just the simplest things like I think this one if you can believe it was snake um, or slither or something uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, but yeah I drew I drew a couple of snakes um, really had fun with these scales uh, they took forever. I think Rory and I watched like seven hours of Gilmore Girls, maybe. Maybe that's exaggerating, but like a lot of hours, a lot of episodes of Gilmore Girls while I uh, finished up these snaky snakes. Um, yeah, so I guess the most challenging part of doing scales is, at least on snakes, or anything that has like a not straight shape is figuring out how the scales bend with the animal um, and like making them all the same size roughly so that it doesn't look weird in one spot. Um, that was a challenge. But, you know, that's good and all, it's good to be challenged. Um, but I'm getting better at drawing scales. I kind of like want to draw scales on everything now. Birds and stuff. Uh, I also made the dumb mistake of eating spaghetti while I was working on this one right here and almost, it was so close, got spaghetti juice on him. Um, don't do that. Don't eat spaghetti next to your art. That's really stupid. Granted, he's yellow, and if something had happened, if it had gotten on him, I probably could have painted over it, but every time I look at it, I would have noticed that little spaghetti spot, that little tiny little bit of grease there. Even if nobody else sees it, I would have noticed it. And it would have driven me nuts. Mm, there comes a time in a young snake's life where they need to hang from trees or sit in grass or something, so... Sometimes it's a good idea to just watercolor an entire page green. Cut out little shapes and glue them all onto canvas, like so. This was really fun. I like the texture that this makes. Um, I've done this in the past and I think I might incorporate it into more of my work. But uh, 
glue gets everywhere. I have a little glue splotch on my pajama pants now that will forever remind me of this this piece that I'm working on. And uh, yeah, I tend to like things that are tedious and repetitive uh, that make textures. Kind of, I guess that's just kind of how I roll. I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope you guys are having a good week and that 2020 is being good to you so far. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the near future. Take care. <laughs>